Every week in Los Angeles, drivers take almost 15 million vehicle trips during morning rush hour. About a thousand of those trips are taken in stolen cars. It's the job of the LA Sheriff's Task Force for Regional Auto Theft Prevention to flush out the thieves and take them down. Keep your hands up. Well, Baker operations are successful for a number of reasons. You know, you arrest one person and all of a sudden it gets the message across that law enforcement is actively seeking out auto theft suspects. A high-tech mobile command post monitors the operation while traps uniformed and undercover deputies set up the sting. Working undercover is, it's an art. It really requires some uh, acting instead of reacting. An undercover deputy posing as a very pregnant woman driving herself to the hospital rolls the black Escalade into a busy neighborhood. She pretends to ask another deputy for a ride to the hospital. The car's drunk. He's unfamiliar with the need to press the brake to start the car. He's working up some courage to take it, to show off. Looks like, uh... They're gonna start heading back across the street. No shirt is with the original blue shorts, black t-shirt. Driver's door open. No shirt in the driver's seat. Black t-shirt, passenger seat. And I think this time it might be a go. Stand by. Firme. Looks like this guy has experience and enthusiasm to spare. We have to pull that or what? That emergency brake. Oh, that's where it was, right? And the car is rolling. Big car heading west on Temple. That's west on Temple. Opening the console apparently presents another challenge to black shirt guy. Big car now north on Perth. Okay, shut it down. We got a pop this. Black and whites rolling. Orale, boom. Damn! <laughs> Five roll rolled up, Hobie. Oh, Sam. Put your hands up in the air. <laughs> we fed oh, up, fool. Yeah. We up. I know I'm about to go to Holly right now. <laughs> Damn, Hobie. <laughs> I get busted and all that. <laughs> fool, just my luck, bro. If we're gonna say that I done just rolled up and said, hey, can you guys park the car? All right. We don't know what's going on, so we just. Keep your hands where I can see him, bro. All right, don't park, sir. All right, step out of the car. You have any guns or hands on you? Nah, I don't even know what's going on. Face away from me. Put your hands behind your back. Step out. How you doing, partner? It's time for these two guys to tell some tales to the deputies. Let's see if they got their story straight. What are you guys doing? What are you up to right now? Look here. Uh -huh. This truck. 
So people rolled up. So then she hops out the car and hops yeah. in the end of the truck. And she's like, my keys are in the truck. Right. Can you park the car instead? I'm like, what the f Why don't you just call the police and say, hey, there's an abandoned vehicle right here? Because I didn't think it was abandoned. Like, I thought it was the girls. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, sir. I messed up. I yeah. Just All right. So you're slipping then. You just got caught slipping. Nah, because I didn't take it. So how did I get caught slipping? Were you driving? Man, damn. I could have caught What's the tattoo on your neck? Initials. Your initials? Yeah. P13 is your initials? Come on, dude, you're dealing with us. Sometimes you get juveniles who are gang members who who just don't care. I understand you're young, but look, hey, bro, we know what roles in this neighborhood. So be straight up. He's giving you your respect. Respect him. You know how that goes. Each kid's different. Some of them learn and some of them don't learn. You a gang member? No. No, he is though, right? Yeah, but I ain't. I'm a big deal gang member. I didn't say you were. I was just saying he is, right? You've learned at a very young age to lie to the police, huh? You've got a long road ahead of you, young man. Hopefully this one time they're going to jail will change their life and they won't steal anything else. 